Tell me what issue what did you come out in um, Australian People? Yeah, Australian People magazine. So I look at you or do you no, whatever you want. Um it was the mid-November issue of 2007, so just a few months ago, or a month and a half ago, whatever. And I was on the cover. And they also had a picture of showgirls and Lizzie Trippy and I on our pole dance, our famous pole dance. Right. And um Okay. I take my jacket off. I feel bad because I'm wearing fur. Do they wear fur in Australia? Um, or, not, or is it more like... Because I, I am PETA. Like, this is my mom's. It's so old. That looks vintage. nice. Yeah, it's, it's been around for, you know, nice. 30 years old. But, um, so, they had this little picture and it like circled me and it pointed like, here I am now on the cover and then on the inside they did an interview and I had like probably six different pages or so of like, new pictures and I have um, a centerfold too so it opens up and there's like a big picture like that of me and it's kind of racy but we did the Marilyn Monroe-esque right. with the, the white sheets. Right. And um, it's topless. Right. They couldn't do that in American people. No! I know! It's, it's the same kind of... I know it's a different magazine than people in America, right. but it's pretty much based on the same like actresses and some of the like tabloid kind of yeah. rumors and things, but right. they have things where actresses like... It's just more racy and sexy, like if they're yeah. wearing a sexy outfit yeah. or... Like if they're, you know, top falls right. over, <laughs> you know, they have like pictures like that, and um, and then they did a whole thing on like every nude scene I've ever done. Oh really? And they have pictures from all of the nude scenes and movies that I've been in, but I haven't really done that many. How many nude scenes? I, have? I think they only had about um, like six or seven images so compared to like I've done tons of movies and a lot of television where I wasn't new at all and, um, and also they had this one from Dante's Coke yeah watch out we're doing an interview and more drinks if you want oh okay okay are you some camera yeah. I'm sorry are you some camera you bitch what's the matter Movies together? Um, we just, we did, um, 
like the leads. And um, and then she had a like a smaller part that she came down later. And um, so we became friends down on the islands. And yeah, and I met her sister down there too. So we all just kind of. She's got a sister. Out. Yeah. I didn't know that. Younger, older. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if she's younger or older. They look the same. Are they both? Is she an actress too? No, she's like in the banking business. So yeah, she always says like, like she has a real job. <laughs> Lots of money. <laughs> so, what else did the article talk about? Um, then they had they had segments on Elizabeth Berkeley and all of her new parts that she's ever done, <laughs> and they had um, segments on another one on Gina Gershon and all of her new parts she's ever done, and and then they had this nice other page where. They just highlighted some other career points for me. You know, they, they were just so nice. They, they did a great job. I was flattered. So what did they, what questions did they ask you? Do you remember? Um, they, uh, they asked me, they love these movies that I, I've done three and I'm going back again to do more. But I work with Lloyd Samandel and he's out of Prague. And we do these um, interesting, like, women in prison oh, kind right. of fetish movies. Right. What are the titles? Well, it's all called Bound Heat. Oh, right, right, right. And the, they're huge in Australia. And I didn't even, a lot of people don't even know about them. Only they're a cult, it's a cult following. And Quentin Tarantino, I, I heard that he's inspired by them. He wants to do, like, a, a women in prison film next because of these films. And um, they're kind of like have some mutual business contacts that this you know, rumor got back to Lloyd. So um, they want to know all about that and just what it's like filming and working with Lloyd Samandel and um, all the characters. I always play the, the, I'm the star of the movie and I play like a really strong female and they're really good parts actually. This really meaty part, but they're really sexy. And it's very like European, you know. And these beautiful girls that don't speak English very well. So um, they do really good with their lines, but they're all from Europe that work in these movies with me. So um, we're just When did you make these? I just got back actually a couple months ago. You, I did two. You well, did two there. all at once? Yeah. Um, one, that, one is called Bound Cargo. I've actually made four movies with him. The first one is called Dark Confessions. And I did that one. Um, like the. Was it? Like ten years ago, I did my first movie. Yeah. And then this new one is called Caligula's Spawn. And so it's based on Caligula. And I play Drusilla, and it's like the Roman, you know, goddess kind of, kind of set and everything. I'm this cool, terrible woman. And then the other one is based on, uh, it's called No Escape, and it's based on um, the uh, World War II. And it's based in Germany. And with all the, uh, it has like some. I, I'm I play evil character also, so it's got like some of the Hitler, a little bit of that, you know, the, whatever. So you play a Nazi? Army. Yeah, kind of a Nazi. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I was like, what? Where is it? Um, yeah, I play a Nazi. But then they toned that down because they didn't want it to be, you know, too focused on the Nazi thing. But who's playing a Nazi? 